With time, increasingly, his options were getting limited. As the saying goes, he was given a long rope and he reached a cul-de-sac. What has happened today is a resounding judgment that I embrace in full. And he cannot cry foul. Ample time was provided to him. Those who still have the temptation to put their fingers in the till, to abuse state-owned enterprises, to abuse their positions of trust. Now they know that we are all be called before the law and there is none that will be spared. That is the beauty of this judgment. That is good for the ANC leadership, especially Ramaphosa, who wants to see things being done the right way. This is very empowering to him and others who really want to turn the organization around and to turn the country around. They will do their best to defend the consumer. I also saw a tweet by one of uh, ANC leaders, Randy Lamassina, saying that... Because the contempt that people dis displayed towards him and the commission in general, now they know they've got nowhere to hide. Now they know they will be called upon to account and take responsibility for their actions. This so-called, I, I don't remember what I remember, right? I don't want to say anything because I, I don't want to implicate myself. The Zondo Commission was abused and I'm sure there will be consequences. And I'm sure if there are others who are still to appear, based on this, they will do better. Oh,